So the match starts. We're fighting for grips. We're standing up. The plan is snap downs into side control into Americana, ultimately provoking a response so that we can take their back. If at any point I can get on top of them, I'm going to go for an arm triangle. So you can see us here fighting for grips. We're in stand up. Neither one of us has gotten a takedown. Uh, I get an underhook here. I tried to do a quick snap down. That's what I needed to get the takedown there, but I missed it. He goes for a sweep, and as I try to backpedal and get my feet underneath me, we go out of bounds, so they reset. We move back to the center. We find ourselves back in this same kind of grip battle here, fighting collar ties, getting heavy on the neck, getting frames, fighting for wrist control, keeping our base as we fight through this. I was going to go set up a sumigashi here, and I fail. I quickly jump to my feet, and as he tries to reposition, I'm able to counter the weight and get on top of him, and he exposes his back here. So I immediately go in for the back attack. My initial plan with the back attack system was to go with the body lock and then use that body lock as a mechanism of control while we attack the neck. And as I went to get my body lock, he actually grabbed my underside leg here, so I couldn't get it. So I'm actually stomping on his hip, trying to just keep him low, uh, so that I have the upper position to attack the neck. He's doing a good job going two on one on my right arm there. So I was having a hard time getting it free. So I started posturing up a little bit so that I could break my arm free and try to reattack his neck. I had this under grip here and my thought was if I could get it set up for a collar choke or possibly a transition into a bow and arrow choke, that was what I was going to do. But with the way he's been struggling, if I would have let that grip go, he would easily spun out. So I ended up holding onto the grip for way longer than I should have, trying to get access to his neck. He starts to rotate out. I sit up for the reposition. I was going to try to pull him back into guard here, but I got too far forward. So then I had to just switch to, to re-guarding. I was trying to pull him back into the rear naked choke. So uh, I go for a, a half triangle attempt here. I'm trying to get the position on him, but he does a good job resisting the triangle, and I didn't want to waste too much energy on it, so I let it go. He transitions to a straight ankle a lock. He's attacking my ankle here, so I use that collar grip to start pulling myself up to mount, and then he exposes his back again, so I tried to go for a back take, but he's pretty strong. He's got some weight, so he was able to get his post back to the floor. So again, I kind of abandoned that attack, and I just started framing up and getting my legs and my knee shields back in. I thought about doing an underhook there so I could try to get a sweep, but he backed it out. So I go for collar and a wrist control, and I was gonna go for a sweep right there, and then he stuffs my leg right at the perfect moment. And then I found myself back in this battle of trying to reframe and re-knee shield again. So I start pushing him away with my feet to give myself some space so that I can get my legs and knees back inside. Um, constant control on his collar that helps me get a good push pull uh, then I re-guard here back into close guard but that collar grip allows me to pull on him while I push with my knees and my legs so that I can manipulate him a little better so again I'm setting up a sweep here collar tie wrist control uh, I was going to go for it but then he stood up so that wasn't going to work anymore so I started pushing and pulling as you can see I framed up my feet on his hips I kept that collar tie and I just pushed with my legs to kind of get him back down to the ground then he started exposing his back so I started moving for back take again but he frames on my neck and pushes me back to the mat and to not burn too much strength I start implementing that push pull method again so he then transitions to an ankle attack here I use his momentum to start pulling myself up with that collar tie uh, I decide to spin out and I'm going for a back step here, but my foot, my bottom leg gets caught and I couldn't get it out and around. So I just kind of spun around, reached for his neck, and I used that to kind of pull myself onto his back. He kind of flattens out here and isn't giving me a ton of resistance. So at this point, I'm just kind of going for a neck choke if I can get on his, his collars. I'm going to try to get a collar choke, but he starts standing up. So I moved to tactical mount or modified mount, and then he opens up his arm, and I changed that right into attacking an arm bar. I messed up, and I didn't go heavy on his head like I should have, so he's able to get out here, and he spins toward me. So I use that to transition into spider guard, and I start putting my hooks in, my feet in to get the hips back, to get onto his biceps, and I use that to kind of start unstabilizing him and get to his ankle. 
Uh, I start setting up uh, reverse daily heva here, and then we run out of time.